Anyone up for a story? Come and sit by the fire. It's nice and cozy. Let's start. Tonight's story is called Caillou Snowman. <laughs> Got one. Me too. <laughs> Let's make a snowman. A snowman? Wow. Do you want to help me? Caillou thought that was a great idea, even though he didn't know exactly how to make a snowman. Yes! Why don't you start making the head? I'll make his body. Okay. Gonna make a snowman, gonna make a snowman. Hmm, I can do that. Hey! Oof. I can't do it. I hate making the snowman. How's the head coming along, Caillou? Hmm. I can't make it. You can't? Don't worry, I'll show you how. We're going to make the biggest snowman in the world. The biggest snowman in the world? In the universe. <laughs> <laughs> I think that snowball is big enough. Let's make new ones. Oh! <laughs> First, you have to make a tiny snowball. See? Caillou liked having Sarah to show him what to do. Oh. A snowball! You did it! Hey! <laughs> stop! But Caillou wouldn't stop. Sarah didn't think the game was funny anymore. Fine. If you don't want to make a snowman, I'm leaving. No, stay, please. I want to make a snowman with you. Now look, it's easy. I'm finished. All right, let's put our snowman together. We have to put it on top of this one. Are you ready? <sighs> I think it will hold. Now we need a head. That's your snowball. Okay. Uh. Hi, kids. I have a surprise for you. Look in the bag. A carrot? We can use it to make the snowman's nose. Wow. <laughs> the bag was full of great surprises. And very soon, the snowman had a big smile on his face. Hmm, I have something else. Let's see if it fits. Look, Sarah, he's beautiful. And he's the biggest snowman in the universe. Wonderful. Now, how about coming inside for a snack? Wait! What's this? It's a snowball. No, it's a snack for the snowman. <laughs> <laughs> This is the story of when Caillou learned to skate. It happened on a winter day, just like today. Ever since Caillou watched a hockey game with his mommy and daddy, he wanted to skate. So his daddy made a skating rink in the backyard and bought him his first pair of skates. He shoots, he scores! I wanna be a hockey player. <laughs> Good, but first we need to learn to skate. I can skate fastest in the world. <laughs> Look, Mommy, he fell down. Hmm, so I'll be skating with the world champion. That's great. <laughs> See? Soon you'll be able to skate like this. Okay, now the first thing you have to learn is how to stand. Caillou discovered that skating wasn't as easy as he thought it would be. Oh, Caillou! This should help until you get the hang of it. And now you're ready to skate. Whoa. I don't want to skate anymore. It's too hard. 
I know it isn't easy, but I'm very proud of you for trying. Let's do it again. Caillou was tired of falling and falling, but he did feel like trying one more time with his daddy. I want to try again. Good for you. Oh. You're doing great, Caillou. Oh, no. Look, Daddy, I can do it. Right, Caillou? Hmm. Caillou, you're skating! You're really skating! Look, Mommy! I'm skating! Who wants some hot chocolate? After falling a lot, Caillou was finally getting the hang of it. Except... Yes, dear? <laughs> I guess your next lesson will be how to turn. And then we'll have to think about getting you a hockey stick. A hockey stick? Wow! Come on, it's story time, kids. Now, let's see. This story happened when Caillou was only three, and Rosie was just a baby. Today's story is called, Caillou Goes Shopping. Caillou, time to get up. It's snowing outside, look. Yay! I want to make a snowman. <laughs> Let's get you dressed first. Now, where are your sweaters? But I want to wear these. <laughs> if you wear shorts outside, you'll feel as cold as a snowman. There's no more cereal. We'll get some when we go shopping. And we need some eggs, too, because I'm making a special surprise cake. Special surprise cake? Yay! Caillou and Rosie always <laughs> liked Mommy's Yay! special surprise cakes, but they never knew exactly what the surprise would be. <laughs> Caillou, it's time to go to the store. Put on your coat and boots. But, Mommy... I want to play with my dinosaur. You can play with him later. Now, come on, we're waiting for you. Caillou liked to go shopping, but he always took a long time to get ready because he liked playing too. Caillou, get in the car, please. Are we gonna make a snowman? Well, yes, as a matter of fact, we are. Yay, a snowman! But right now, we have to get going. Mommy, I want to ride like Rosie. <sighs> okay, but let's get going, or there won't be time to make that snowman. I want these. Caillou, we're having a special surprise cake, remember? So we don't need cookies, too, okay? What is the special surprise cake? If I tell you, I'll spoil the surprise. Now, when we get to the checkout, I want you to look after Rosie while I take care of the groceries. All Caillou could think about were those cookies, but he forgot exactly where he'd seen them. Before he knew it, he was all alone, lost, and feeling afraid. Mommy! Mommy! Where are you? Mommy! Caillou, what happened? <laughs> you went away. <laughs> no, Caillou, you did. But I'm very glad we found you. Let's go home. Caillou was still feeling upset, but he was very happy to see his mommy and Rosie again. I didn't like it when I was lost, Mommy. I didn't like it either, sweetie. So let's make sure you don't get lost again. Now, let's finish making that special surprise cake. But I wanted to make a snowman. We are going to make a snowman. Only we're going to make him right here in the kitchen. The special surprise cake! Yay! Caillou and Rosie were absolutely right. They had guessed what Mommy's surprise was going to be. Mommy, look! He's really a snowman! Grr, then he must be cold. Let's give him a scarf. Holiday 
magic. Caillou loved looking at all the Christmas lights in his neighborhood. He was very excited because today he was going to visit Santa. What are you drawing, Caillou? A picture for Santa, so he'll remember what to bring me for Christmas. That's a great idea. What are you going to ask for? Caillou was having a very hard time deciding what to ask Santa to bring him for Christmas. What about a toy car? Caillou finally knew what to ask Santa for. When are we getting a Christmas tree? Today, right after Dad finishes up his work. He could hardly believe it. Seeing Santa and decorating the tree all in the same day. Caillou, <laughs> we're going to put decorations on the tree, not on you. Where's Daddy? I think he's still on the phone. He'll be out in a minute. I'll go get him. Daddy, hurry! We're going to see Santa! I'll just be a minute, Caillou. You're tracking snow into the house. Caillou was very impatient to see Santa and wanted Daddy to get off the phone. Okay, thank you very much. I'll talk to you soon. Come on, Daddy, hurry! <laughs> okay, okay, I'm coming. You know what? I think I better go to the bathroom first. Go fast, Daddy! <laughs> this is a switch. I usually have to wait for you. I'll just be a minute. Caillou, wait for us! He was very excited to go and see Santa. Caillou! Daddy! Caillou was afraid to get on the escalator by himself, and Daddy was already on his way up. It's okay, I'm coming down. Daddy looked very funny walking down the escalator going the wrong way. <laughs> That's the wrong way! You're right. The up escalator is only for going up, but I had to come and get you. Clementine! Hi, Caillou. I'm gonna tell Santa what I want for Christmas. Me too. What do you want? I want a new doll and a jump rope and an oven so I can make my own cakes and cookies. And maybe a new teddy bear or a big fluffy dog. What are you asking for? Caillou wasn't sure if he should ask Santa for more, but all he really wanted was this one special thing. Watching Clementine with Santa, he was suddenly a little nervous to go up and ask him for what he wanted. Go on, Caillou. It's your turn. <laughs> What's this? A picture for me? I love getting pictures. Did you write your name on it? Well, then you'd better tell me your name so I don't forget who it's from. Caillou. Ho, 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 ho. This is a beautiful drawing, Caillou. Why don't you climb up here and tell me more about it? Caillou was very happy that Santa liked his drawing. And he didn't feel shy anymore. Ho, 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 ho. Why, this looks like a dinosaur. Yes. It's a dinosaur that walks and talks. You mean you want a real dinosaur? <laughs> no, a toy dinosaur with batteries. <laughs> Phew, I don't have many real dinosaurs at the North Pole, but I think I just might have the kind that you want. Yeah! <laughs> Merry Christmas, Caillou! Caillou was happy that he had asked Santa for a dinosaur. And who's this? Rosie's my sister. Rosie, that's a beautiful name. And what would you like for Christmas, Rosie? <laughs> Rosie's a little scared, Caillou. I think we better wait until next year. I'm going to bring you something special for Christmas, Rosie. Bye, Caillou! <laughs> Have a merry, merry Christmas! Caillou was proud of being a big boy and not being afraid of Santa anymore. Where are the trees, Daddy? Sorry, I just sold my last Christmas tree to that family over there. 
Look at my tree, Caillou. We're going home to decorate it. Bye! I want to decorate a Christmas tree, too. I'm sorry, Caillou, but there are none left. There you go, kid. If you come back tomorrow, I promise I'll have the best tree waiting just for you. I won! I won! So, I'll see you folks tomorrow. Merry Christmas! Caillou was very upset. He didn't want to wait for tomorrow. He wanted to decorate the tree today. Mommy, Daddy, look! What on earth? <laughs> Gilbert! <laughs> Caillou didn't want to be outside. He wanted to be inside, decorating a Christmas tree. Why can't we get a tree, Daddy? The man said he'd have more trees tomorrow, Caillou. But I want to decorate the tree now! You know what? Maybe we can. Really? Why don't we go inside and get that box of decorations? We're going to decorate us a Christmas tree. Mommy, can we still have a tree inside? Of course we can, sweetie. Caillou thought he was the luckiest boy in the world. Santa Claus was bringing him a dinosaur, and he was going to have two Christmas trees. Ready? Wow! Caillou thought it was the most beautiful tree he had ever seen. Caillou helps Grandpa. Caillou was impatient to get to Grandma and Grandpa's house. Today, Caillou, his daddy, and Grandpa were going skating. We're almost there. Why don't you try to walk in my footprints? <laughs> Hi, Grandpa! Hi! Hi, you two! Would you look at all this snow? If we're gonna drive to the skating rink, I think we need to clear this driveway first. Well, let's get to work then. How about it, Caillou? Caillou saw how much snow there was. He wanted to help. Good. The more help we have, the faster the work will get done. There are extra shovels in the house. Caillou thought it was hard work to keep up. That's good. Keep going. Uh, Daddy, help! It's stuck. Pull hard. Uh, uh, uh. Ow! Caillou had another idea of how he could help. I'm going to work here. <laughs> hey, here comes some more. <laughs> Watch out! Time out. If we want to get to that skating rink, we better get back to work. I think I'll start on the walkway. What's this? Can I have it, Grandpa? Sure, be my guest. Caillou discovered that the flower pot was very useful to carry snow and that it was great to build snow castles. Daddy, come see what I made. Look at the castles. Wow! Caillou was proud that his grandpa and daddy liked his castles. They're the biggest castles ever! A lot, Grandma. He sure did a good job. <sighs> what about skating? You should probably head out soon. How about we skate tomorrow, Caillou? Caillou? Caillou was too busy to answer because he heard something outside. Wow! More snow! I can make snow castles again! Duck slip ahead. 
ahead. Come on, Caillou. It's cold outside. Don't you like your new snowsuit? I don't want to wear it. Caillou liked his old snowsuit better. I think you're going to need it when we go tobogganing. Caillou was so excited to go tobogganing that he couldn't stand still. <laughs> Caillou couldn't wait to slide down a really big hill. Come on, Caillou. We're ready to go. Hold on tight. enjoyed watching everyone sliding down the hill. He noticed all kinds of people and all kinds of different toboggans. Some of them were very funny. I want to slide down the hill, too. Okay, Caillou, but before sliding down, we have to climb up. Me, too. Caillou was determined to get to the top of the hill. Wow. Come on. It's a race. Me and Daddy against Rosie and Mommy. Okay, we'll see you at the bottom. Caillou thought the bottom of the hill was a long way down. Don't worry, Caillou. It'll be lots of fun. And if we go too fast, I can use my feet like brakes. Ready? Go! Caillou! Try to catch us, Rosie! Caillou grew more excited as the toboggan picked up speed. <laughs> We're almost at the finish line. Whoa! Bye bye! <laughs> <laughs> Did we win the race, Daddy? No, we went faster, but Mommy and Rosie got to the finish line first. Come on, let's go again. I want to win! Sure. Let's take a look. Caillou had never seen a dog pulling a sled before. Hi! Ha! 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 He was impressed by the way the dog followed the commands. Well, that's it for today, folks. Aww. Aww. Hi there. What's your name? Hi, you. I'm Tom, and this is Chinook. She's a husky dog, and she loves the snow. Caillou was fascinated by Chinook. See? Chinook's fur is like your snowsuit. It keeps her warm when she's pulling the sled through the snow. Caillou noticed that Chinook's sled was different from his. I have a sled. And a nice one, too. But Chinook pulls a special kind of sled. Say, Caillou, would you like to take a ride with Chinook? Caillou felt a bit scared. He'd never been in a dog sled before. Don't worry. I'm sure Chinook will be very careful. Does your little sister want to come along for a ride, too? Caillou! Come on, Rosie. You can sit with me. Encouraging Rosie made Caillou feel better, too. He felt safer now that they were riding together. Let's tell Chinook we're ready to go. Hike! Hike! Hike. <laughs> Caillou felt like he was driving the sled. <laughs> now I'll tell her to turn left. Paw! Paw!
Now you can tell her to stop. Say, whoa. Whoa. Try a little louder. Whoa! Yay! Caillou was happy that Chinook listened to him. Chinook and I have to go home now, but I'm sure she'd love it if you gave her a pat on the head, since she did such a great job. Bye, Chinook! Hike! Bye! Caillou wished Chinook was coming home with him. Like Chinook? No, it would be nice to get a ride home with her, but you'll have to settle for the car today. Come on, in you go. Hike! Caillou, you should take off your snowsuit first. You'll be hot. No, I want to wear it. Caillou liked his new snowsuit so much now, he didn't want to take it off. Besides, Caillou couldn't wait to play sled dog. And since he didn't have a dog, he tried something else. Gilbert, you can be the sled cat. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> you listen. Good sled cat, Gilbert. The Sugar Chef. Jonas had invited Caillou's family for a visit at the